Welcome back to Suns Valley Podcast, everybody. The buyout candidates keep coming. Now Kevin Love has been bought out as of Wednesday evening by the Cavaliers. And many teams have been rumored to be after his services as a sharpshooting big. Hit the like button for us, please, and let's get straight into what Kevin Love has left in the tank, if anything. Kevin Love is in his 15th season, his ninth with Cleveland, and is averaging only 8.5 points per game on only 20 minutes a game, both the lows of his career. So what does this Silver Fox version of Kevin Love have to offer a team with championship aspirations? Specifically with Phoenix, it would be a great upgrade for their stretch backup five position that they like to run that of course they can't do with Bismack Biombo, but try to do with Jock Landale. In my opinion, considering Dario is gone and Jock, as much as I love him, cannot throw the ball in the ocean from the edge of the beach, an upgrade is much needed. I'm a big fan of Jock Landale, and I had extremely high hopes for him this season. And I don't want to see him leave. But the timetable has shifted forward for the Phoenix Suns. What use is it having two centers behind DA that can't shoot the three ball? The Suns need to be able to have an answer for every potential situation in the playoffs. The other team takes away inside scoring one night by going big. You put the stretch center in instead of Bismack Biombo. The threes just aren't falling and the other teams get into the rack like a damn layup line. Put in Bismack and sit the stretch big. Like, do I really have to do this hat on a hat analogy again? For whatever reason, and I say that because his jumper is pretty good looking, Jock Landale is shooting a putrid 23% from three. And that number has been going up. It was worse a month ago. Kevin Love, on the other hand, is shooting a comparatively brilliant 35% from three. Basically, he's hitting two out of every five threes he takes. It's not the greatest percentage from three, but it's not bad. And it would give the Suns a different wrinkle to their offense. Not to mention, with play Players like Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, and DA, really the Suns' entire big four, they live in the mid-range. So adding wings like Terrence Ross, maybe Carmelo, maybe Will Barton is really valuable with all of their 38% from three. But at the center position, it could be even more valuable. And it's very simple why. The center that's guarding your center has to guard him at the three-point line, so he's not in the paint to get rebounds, and he's not in the paint to block shots. Like I said, a different wrinkle to the offense. I know what you're thinking and I mostly agree. I flat out love Jock Landale as a Suns fan and I don't feel good about giving up a 27 year old second year center that's 6'11 and has a nice touch around the rim. His hook shot is not bad for a 34 year old who's a little bit long in the tooth, let's be honest. But try to stay focused on what's really important here. The two to three year stretch of brilliance we're hoping and expecting to get from Kevin Durant and Devin Booker in pursuit of the first title for Phoenix ever. The position the Suns are in right now is one of utmost urgency. Very few moves for the future of the team are important here. The future outside of the next three years. If you can replace Jock or Ish Wainwright with the likes of the sharpshooting Kevin Love, even at 34 years old, I still think you do it. It's not only important to have three-point shooters in the playoffs, it's important to have three-point shooters in the playoffs that have hit and can hit clutch shots. Clutch three-pointers, players that aren't going to be afraid of the moment because they've been there before. Kevin Love is not the player that he once was, but he still checks off boxes that the Phoenix Suns need to help them be better suited for a playoff run where they are expected to go all the way. Tell me in the comments below if you want Kevin Love on the Phoenix Suns or if you're a fan of another team, do you hope your team gets Kevin Love or why not? And if you are a Suns fan that wants Kevin Love, who do you want to give up for him if you have to give someone up? Until next time, go Suns.